Good morning, good morning. PCT day number 95. I'm getting closer to 100. <laughs> um, it's pretty insane. Um, so today, um, we are planning another 30 mile day. Um, it's about 6.40 and we've already started. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, I slept really well last night. Today, supposedly according to all the far out comments and what we've heard, we are getting into mosquito hell. <laughs> We're gonna, so like a mile before we're camping is where the mosquitoes start. And then it's just gonna be hellish according to the comments. I don't know how long the hell will last, but it's funny because like a lot of the other comments are like, I thought everyone was just like fear mongering and they were like, but no, it's hellish, so. We'll have that to look forward to. Although, we've also heard that with this heat, there's a possibility that they've all died. Um, I only saw like three mosquitoes last night, so that might be a thing. I don't know. Um, it's going to be a hot one again today. Um, and we have some water carries. Last night we thought we had a 22 mile water carry today. Thankfully, we looked and we found that there is a water source um, spigot in between that, but it's just like point two off trail and it's at a hut with a picnic table and it's like the perfect spot for a lunch. So we might push to a little late of, of lunch and go 16 miles before lunch, um, which we've done before, so it's no big deal. Um, Seems like a good lunch spot anyway. There's picnic tables, water. Yeah, probably shade. <laughs> so, we shall see what the day holds for us. Um, we got two big climbs, one in the beginning of the day and one at the end. So, and that's basically down or flat. So, yeah, here's to today. So right now, we are hiking through like blowdown city. Some of them are cut, moved to the side, and sometimes you have like three trees all at once that you have to get over. And this guy just passed me. He has really long legs. And one of the blowdowns, he was like, do do do, just like stepped right over. Meanwhile, I'm like struggling to get over, and my hips pop when I do because I have to lift them so high. <sighs> It's not fair. <laughs> oh, oh well, that's okay. I'm a lot shorter, so going under some of the blowdowns is easier for me than the taller guys. So, yeah, there's a lot of blowdowns around here. So, yeah, wow. But at least we're in the tree canopy right now. So, shade. It's less hot. It's pretty nice. It's been a nice gradual climb too. It's been really nice. So just hoping that it stays that way. <laughs> See, blow down. Well, 
thought I would update. It is just before six right now, and we have 3.7-ish miles left to get to the campsite we were hoping, which would be 30.9 from where we started. Um, so, pretty good day. Um, we already ate dinner too. We had it back um, about a mile, a little less than a mile ago. Um, but in the 3.7, we have a thousand feet of climbing. Um, pretty consistent grade overall, so if it's like what it is right now, it shouldn't be too bad. And we're in the trees and the sun's going down, so it's a lot cooler. For a bit, we were out in the lava flows and it was very exposed and hard to walk on because you kept tripping over rocks. So before dinner, it was, it was pretty tough, actually. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll make it there tonight. I'm pretty sure we will. I'm actually feeling really good. Um, nothing's really hurting right now, so um, just a little, a little warm. <laughs> but we have enough water and the only thing though is according to comments we're going to be in Mosquitoville soon. So oh, here's hoping that the heat has gotten rid of all of them. Well, this is 10 Talk for PCD, day number 95. I'm at mile 1777.8. That's a 30.9 PCT mile day for me. Um, a pretty good day. Um, pretty hot, but pretty good. Um, the pretty for today is probably a mix between how cruisy the trail was and we saw our first berries on trail today. Um, it's really starting to feel like Oregon. Um, and then the gritty for today is we hiked through a lava flow section. Like there was a lot of lava rocks. Um, and it was really hard because I kept tripping and kicking rocks. And then to top it all off, every time the lava fields were there, it was completely exposed and we hiked through it at the hottest part of the day. So it was definitely a challenge, um, for sure. Um, today is Friday, which means Feature Friday, and today I am featuring Body Glide. Um, so especially since during the heat wave, um, I decided to go back to wearing my shorts when I'm hiking. Um, it's super important to have my Body Glide so that I can um, make sure I don't chafe too much. Um, it's definitely a very useful item for any hiker to have. Um, there's been quite a few instances where I've known other hikers to say, oh, I need to pick up Body Glide. Or like, oh, I should have brought Body Glide. <laughs> um, and it's not really something you can share without cutting off the top. So, um, super important. Um, at least for me to have. So... With that, here is my sketch and my foot picture for today, and then, of course, my message to the fam. I love you, rock on, and as always, we'll see you on the trails.